Okay guys, so I just got this Kotec Pure Soundwave Inverter SP3000 and it's pretty big, it's a monster. It's a 24 volt to 120 volt AC. Um, I will show you the front but right now what I have here is a 24 volt Kalb uh, 100 amp hours battery setup with the Victron 100 amp shut off which will actually take more than 100 amps shortly I believe uh, for the test I'm going to need about 130 maybe 140 amps I'm not exactly sure but we'll see about that we're going to get the meter here and uh, obviously we're going to have to monitor that So right now it's not even on, and uh, you can check the voltage on the battery. Twenty-six point five four volts. Just gonna leave it here, and as we oh. And what else we got here is, uh, well, where's the other one? Here. Okay, gotta be careful now. Because I already. No, it's still off, so that's fine. I already tested it a little bit, but not fully. So they say it's 3000 watts, I guess. Yes, we will find out because two of these is 3000 watts exactly. And they don't lie. Two of these puppies, one of them on full speed, full heat is 1500 watts exactly calibrated. Okay? And we have two of these puppies hook up to the Inverter, right here. I hope you can see it. It's a plug wired into the inverter. So they do make a little noise. So I'm not going to be able to speak. Maybe I don't know. But uh, let's turn on the inverter. And the inverter is drawing. Uh, just to retard a load about 1.6 amps. It's flashing a little bit 1.8 right now, 1.9, 1.96. So it's just below 2 amps. Actually, I let me make sure I zero this thing out first. Okay, and let's see. So exactly 1.72. Just eating uh, the power about 1 amp and 1.72 amps. Okay. So you're gonna check the voltage here on this puppy, and that will be the voltage of the inverter. Uh, hopefully, I can fit it in somehow. Uh, I hope you can see that. And I'm not exactly happy about the voltage, it's 118 volts. I'm gonna have to adjust it uh, to 120, 121. I just like the voltage slightly higher because it will take less amps out of the battery if the voltage is higher. I don't like it. Uh, well, 118 is fine. But uh, more important is the wattage. 3000 watts and we're gonna put it on the 3000 watt volt test okay and I'm gonna have to watch the battery of course so let's see we're gonna do one by one now it's 1500 that's good now we're gonna put 3000 watts on it Amazing. It's 
still green. Actually, I'm sorry, right now it's 3,000 bucks. 100 tons of some ants. And everything is still green. 119 volts. That is good. That is amazing. Honestly, that is amazing. And I'm gonna actually check the sine wave too. So I'm gonna put this on the side. We know that it holds it vo its voltage, and here is the sine wave. Um, That's a beautiful sine wave, by the way. Wow. That's good. That is good. I hope it's gonna stay. No, it will not stay. Well, I'm gonna have to make it stay somehow. I have only two hands. Mm, that's gonna be tough. Well, let's see. And this shadow found me already. I just want to see the voltage on the battery. I just want to monitor it. 26.4. That's still good. So, I guess I'm going to have to. I don't know if you, can, if you can see the. I hope so. I hope you can see the sine wave. So, I'm going to just have to just leave it here and turn them on one by one because I have to hold this. And uh, 1.89 right now, relaxed, so let's see. Now it's 1500 watts, and the sign rate is pretty good. Now it's 3000 watts, and the sign rate is great. I don't want to torture my battery because it's only 100 amp hour battery and it's going about 130 amps so that is amazing I am really really happily surprised with this product uh, I have to give it. Uh, I have to give it uh, a really big plus because <laughs> I have about three of these. Well, not these big ones, but I have a uh, thousand watt. Um, actually, the Go Power and the Kotec is exactly the same product. Okay, just in case uh, you wonder. So. Let's get this out of here before it falls down. So uh, the this is the SP3000, and I don't know what would be the equivalent of uh, of the um, uh, Go Power, but it's going to be something 3000. Um, those are exactly same, except this one is blue, the other one is yellow. Uh, so. I tell you what, I'm gonna get the camera here so you can see the lights. And I'm gonna turn it on again. Here is actually the front of the inverter. Uh, I'm gonna have to raise it a little bit. Okay, just bear with me, okay? I hope you have a couple of minutes to spare before I get ready here. Let's see. Uh, beautiful. I can zoom a little bit. 
So this is how it looks at the front. And uh, I'm just gonna turn on, I'm not gonna test the voltage or anything anymore. I'm just gonna just get these wires out of here. Oops, get out. Okay. And uh, you can see those green lights. Um, I'm gonna turn on both of the both of the hard drives again. And you can you can watch the lights. That, that's amazing that, that doesn't even go overload when I put a 3000 watt load on it, okay? So let's see. Now it's 3000 watt. Didn't even... I don't know. I mean, <laughs> normal... N normal... Um, I mean, not normal, but any other, any other inverter, if you're going to load it up to the rated top, it will go into overload. This is just amazing. This is, uh, I had, I just sold one today, uh, the Codex 700. Um, I don't know what was the number, on it, but it was 700 uh, watt inverter. And that one, I can put seven or eight hundred watt on it and then didn't go into overload it was amazing i can load it up up to 800 until it went into overload this one i can load it up to 3000 and it doesn't go in overload this is really really good so i would really recommend this product okay next time <laughs>